Effects of the iPod on the Music Industry by Haley Smith Before the iPod made its way into our society, stores were filled with records and CDs. Shelves upon shelves were stacked full with different records and CDs. Before the iPod, most homes had record players to play the boxes of records that they owned. Before the iPod, children dreamed of receiving a CD player for Christmas or their birthday to listen to the newest CDs out from Britney Spears, NSYNC, and the Backstreet Boys. Before the iPod, record companies and artists were making millions of dollars on record sales and sales of physical CDs in stores. It was almost unheard of to purchase music online for free. But the day the iPod came out, all of those things changed. On October 23, 2001, the iPod came out and Apple claimed, with iPod, listening to music will never be the same again. The iPod changed the lives of many listeners. Teenagers especially were amazed by this new technology. Most people used the iPod while working out, doing homework, and doing chores. The iPod became popular all over the world, but how did the iPod listeners get music on their iPod? There are countless sites on the internet where people can download music for free from friends or strangers. This has many effects on the music industry because people are downloading music for free illegally. Record companies, writers, and artists make no money from these downloads. iTunes is the alternative to illegal downloads iTunes lets people download individual singles by an artist or complete records at a low price. This way, record companies are still making a profit from the sales. Although there has been a decline in physical sales of CDs, sales of music online on iTunes is increasing. By 2009, iTunes accounted for one quarter of all domestic music sales and figuring online only 69% of sales, making iTunes the number one music retailer in the U.S. It was reported that 17 million people stopped buying CDs in 2008 despite the fact that the number of music listeners was going up. Apple has claimed that the iTunes Store customers purchased and downloaded more than 5 billion songs. The iTunes Store has the largest music catalog online with over 8 million tracks. Even more, the iTunes Store is now renting over 500,000 movies daily, turning it into the most popular movie store with a catalog of over 20,000 TV episodes in 2,000 films, of which over 350 are available in HD quality. These days, Apple does not have to worry about going bankrupt. There are other options available instead of iTunes to download music legally. These options include Spotify, Napster, Google Music, and YouTube. These let you listen to all of your favorite music and create playlists to listen to. On the positive side, the iPod and iTunes is a good thing for customers and listeners because instead of buying whole albums, with only a couple of your favorite songs on it, you can purchase your favorite singles for only $0.99 cents or $1.29. But people still have the option of buying a CD online. Another positive effect is that there are more people buying and listening to music because it is more convenient than ever before. A major effect the iPod has had is opening up the doors for more techno technological advances. The iPod has inspired other advances such as iPhones, the combination of a phone and an iPod, and the iPad, a combination of a computer, phone, and iPod. Without physical CD sales, the music industry, companies, writers, and artists are being affected in a negative way. The loss of profit for CD sales due to illegal downloading has a major effect. Many people lose money for themselves. iTunes helps this, but doesn't completely get rid of the loss because the money is flow with other people as well. Another effect of iTunes and illegal downloading sites is that artists lose the purpose of making complete CDs. Oftentimes, artists will create a story that is continued from one song to another throughout the CD. With the decline in complete CD sales, this message is often lost. The same effect is not translated with individual songs. This graph illustrates the decline in the CD sales and the increase in digital music sales in the U.S. per capita. The iPod's overall effect on the music industry. The iPod will ultimately help the music industry but only after the music industry finishes contracting after losing substantial revenue in CD sales. The major music labels, Universal, Sony, and Warner Music Group, are being forced to use iTunes as digital downloading of music continues to erode CD sales. DRM, or Digital Mus Rights Management, is software that prohibits consumers to share their iTunes music with friends. Experts predict that other labels will soon follow and deal with the enhanced risk of music piracy. The iPod is forcing music labels to reevaluate their business models and understand that selling a CD with 15 songs for $15 may be a relic of the past. Not only is the iPod having an effect on the music industry, it has had an effect on other industries as well.
iPads now have applications for buying books and reading books electronically. iPad has inspired other technologies such as the Kindle or Nook. These allow readers to buy books online to read. This affects bookstores because customers are buying books online rather than buying physical books, causing a loss of profit at bookstores as well. Radio is also affected because with the iPod, people can create playlists of all their favorite songs and listen to them in their cars or at work on shuffle opposed to listening to the radio and having their music be interrupted by commercials. Overall, the iPod has had an amazing effect on the technological world. However, it is affecting the way that the music industry makes money. In this time of economical hardships, we have the choice to decide if we want to help solve the problem by buying our music legally and contributing to the profit of the music industry, or we can download our music illegally and face the risk of being sued for hundreds of thousands of dollars for all of the pirated music. In the end, it's up to you to decide.